All right, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are headed down to Bull Shoals, me and the newly wife. We got married uh, this past weekend. Doing a little camping trip this weekend, going down to Bull Shoals, taking the kayaks, and we're going to be fishing in the mornings. Might try to fish the evenings, too, the last little bit of daylight there. But uh, probably mainly try to fish the early, cooler mornings. It's actually going to be really, really hot this weekend. So uh, for this time of year, 90 degrees this weekend down there. So I'm guessing not too crazy be that hot, but definitely going to be hot this weekend. Yeah, we're going to go down there, do some camping, just bring in the tent, popping the tent up. Uh, be cooking some meals on the little burner, on the little burner grill, or the little Coleman uh, propane, bur or propane little grill burner there. And uh, over the campfire, cooking up some steaks and stuff. So hopefully, we get in some big fish. I'm bringing the big glides. Uh, I'm gonna film this whole weekend. I think I might make a two-part video, but I'm gonna film the whole weekend, the whole camping thing, and everything. Show you guys. You can just load up a kayak and a tent and just go camp and find some fish. So that is the plan this weekend. Uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully we get into some big ones. I got a big uh, custom glide. I plan on throwing a couple other big glide baits. Uh, of course, bringing the mag draft, and I'll be throwing around some top water as well. So, hopefully, we can get Lex to catch some. She usually never fishes with me, but I'm gonna make her bring a pole, and I'm gonna tie her on some top water or something, see if she can't get a blow up and scare. Her. But that is the plan. I'm gonna film the whole weekend for you guys. So stick around. Hopefully, this is an interesting trip. Special, but we got her set up. Got her a nice little pallet on a rock pile to sleep on. What do you think, Lex? It's gonna be bad. We don't have anything else set up yet. Just the tent. We'll probably just crash tonight and then deal with it all tomorrow. Alright guys, that is going to do it for our little trip down here. Uh, sorry I didn't film too much, but we're kind of whooped from working all day and getting down here. So we're going to go ahead and hit the hay and then uh, we'll get to fishing in the morning. And then uh, kind of show you around camp, get everything set up. But we will see you in the morning. Say good morning, right? or say, say good night. Good right? night. You got a little red dot on your forehead, let me see it. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, what is up? It is finally the morning. Sun is just coming up. There was an awesome sunrise just over there a minute ago. Didn't get a chance to record it though, but finally in the water and uh, got all, got our baits all rigged up, ready to go. We got a big glide on over here. Jig and a little top water uh, mega bass quick walker topping, top water walking bait. Uh, there's a big point out here, kind of like this is where we're camping right over here. It's a big point, and we're gonna go try to fish that whole point and uh, see if we can't find something. So that's the plan. Stick around, see what we can get into, man. Hey guys, we got this point right up here. That's what we're gonna be trying to be fishing. This little point, and it's a, actually a huge point that goes all the way around. And we'll fish back in that pocket and then fish that next point over. All right, we're gonna have to see how this glide bait swims. water around a little bit early this morning. That glide bait looks awesome in the water though, man. And it's like perfect color for this clear lake. It should work really good today. How you doing? Doing good. Can you see anything? Not yet. Neither. 
Yeah. Big old shad. <laughs> yeah. Guys, that was like a 10 inch shad. So, there's big shad out here, and it literally looks exactly like my bait, my glide bait I got on. That thing was massive, dude. That's the biggest shad I've ever seen. There's another. God dang. Ain't no way that's a bass doing that. Mouth. There we go. First one of the day. Couldn't resist the tackle HD. First one. Bloop. Alright, it's a start. I knew there had to be fish here on this point. There ain't no way. So I think after seeing that shad, I'm gonna throw this shad glide bait around for a little bit. I caught one fish. So I'm not gonna get skunked. This was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be the spot, guys. There's one. Oh my god, on the glide. Yes, sir, on the glide bait. Oh, stop. You're trying to get me off this point. Alright, come off. Oh, he's not a giant, but yes. Oh, he crushed it. Guys, right there, Chad Fleer painted this glide bait up for me. And he just doinked us a nice one here. <laughs> right out here on this point, right where he should have been. We're going to chill right here for a minute. Because there could be an even bigger one. Do it for the morning. All right, guys. Just finished up the morning fishing session. Parked the kayak there. Caught that big one on that point right out here. That bigger one. We're heading up to camp right now. Lex is needing some coffee. Didn't catch a whole lot this morning, guys. But I feel like I kind of figured some stuff out. So hopefully, if I go out this evening. Or tomorrow morning, uh, you'll be able to find a big one. But we're just gonna do some camping and relaxing, and then maybe do some more later, fishing later.
guys, heading out of camp again. I'm gonna go down to the kayak and uh, paddle across where I put in this morning. And uh, we actually walked all the way over and grabbed the truck, so the truck's back here at the campsite. You can see it back there. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna walk down here, grab my kayak, and I'm gonna paddle back across where I put in and try the other points on the other side uh, with this big glide and probably the jig. See if we can't get a bite, and then we gotta actually run into town. <laughs> We're sleeping on like basically uh, so two little blankets underneath of us was not good last night. So we're gonna run into town and grab like a mat or something like that so we can sleep a little more comfortable tonight. But that's the plan. I'm gonna probably put on the chesty here, stand up and see if we can. Uh, I'm gonna keep the head mount on actually. When I go to net it and stuff, I want to be looking around, but hopefully we can find us another one. Hopefully a little bit bigger than that last one. That was fun, but I'd like to catch a big one this weekend. That's the plan. I'm at the kayak now. Actually came right here made a couple casts earlier. Still got my coffee cup down here. But yeah, we're at the kayak. That's the point right there where I caught the one this morning. Off that big point sticking out. And the other one I caught on a jig was like right over here, off of this real shallow point. But anyway, I'm gonna get to fishing and see what we can find. Oh, it's about got my freaking feet all wet. I'm really trying not to. Oh, there we go. All right, look how clear this water is, guys. Throwing this big glide around in this clear water is. Freaking awesome. Here's what this glide does. Oh, hold on. Oops. Keeps getting messed up. Hold up. Thing is freaking killer, man. All right, let's see if something wants to eat it. Even back in that cut there might be worth it. <clears throat> Trying. We're gonna try this <clears throat> shoreline here. We'll go around, fish that little point, and then the next little point. Hopefully, hopefully Lex don't get too too sick of me doing this. <clears throat> I'm really just learning how to throw this bait really good. Get it to swim like I like. Never really thrown a big actual glide bait like this. I'm waiting to see a follower. I can see this water. <clears throat> and this water really good. I'm waiting to see one right on the butt of it following it. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, there's a follower. I got a follower. I had three bass right on it. Nothing giant. of it. That's good news. I had one bite and a group of them followed it in. Not the best, but not terrible. Could be worse. The one that followed it in wasn't even really that big, so. Oh, 
Oh my god. My reel fell off. My reel fell off. Guys, my freaking... I just caught that fish like this. What the heck just happened? Oh my god. Tell you what, that was not ideal, but it worked. Smoked it. Another little two and a half pounder, probably. There we go on the glide again. Smoked it, guys. And my reel fell off. <laughs> uh, this bait is so fun. I cannot believe that happened. That thing hit it, guys, so hard. And the initial weight of it was super heavy. I thought I actually had a really big fish on for a second. And then my reel fell off. What a crap show. <laughs> oh, he clobbered it. I'd like to think that there's some big ones hanging out around here. I've seen some real big shad and stuff there's one all right i don't know what you guys just seen i set the hook and said there's one right when my camera died like i set the hook on it and it died it was probably a six or seven pounder. Had him by the back hook of this bait and I lost him right at the net. He came off and jumped. I was trying to get him in the net and I missed him. Absolute giant I was looking for. My camera died right when it freaking happened and then I lost him. I just said, there's some big shad around here. There's gotta be some big fish. I can't believe I just did that. That was a freaking giant. That was a giant I was looking for. I was literally making like one or two more casts didn't even think or worry about my camera if it had battery or not because I was getting ready to leave we got to try right around here now all right we got to go dang it successful but disappointing at the same time man I had a big freaking fish on. Well, that second outing went about as good as it could have, I guess. I guess I could have landed that big one and actually got, got it on camera so you guys could see it, but it was anywhere from six to eight pounds, I'd say. Uh, went to net it, dipped the net down, and I let slack in the line. I was still kind of all flustered because of that uh, my camera died right when I set the hook on it, so. But got the net down, it came off, and it kind of sat there for a minute right on the surface, and I was trying to get the net under it. I, I nudged it, and it jumped again, and I couldn't get it in the net. So I think I'm just going to chill here in the hammock for a little while, eat some lunch. Uh, might do another outing here uh, this afternoon, a little bit later, kind of just before sunset. Lex is using the truck window for a meter. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do another outing here uh, late, late this afternoon. We're just gonna kind of hang around camp now. It's gonna be like 90 degrees today, so it's gonna be pretty toasty. But hopefully, we can get on something big this evening. If not, first thing in the morning, I'll be back at it. So we're just gonna hang out and mess around camp. <laughs> All right, guys, check in with you a little bit.
guys, it is going to get dark here in about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes or so. Uh, I'm driving over real quick to another spot for, uh, for this evening. Going to see if we can't put something together this evening. Had, had some big bites, man. Uh, lost a real giant lost a real giant fish this morning uh, obviously my camera died and then actually I was at our campsite there I was sitting down or I walked down to the water's edge and was just throwing that hyperglide around and uh, had two really big fish come and swipe and hit it I don't know how I didn't hook them but that's I'm pretty much gonna be throwing that glide the whole time might grab a few other baits and just toss them around real quick but pretty much hyperglide the whole time so uh, anyway, we're gonna drive over here, get the kayak in the water, and see what we can find. Almost forgot the scale, guys. Don't do that, because I'm about to catch a freaking giant. Oh, don't have a ton of time. Probably got about an hour to fish or so. But, that's plenty of time to catch an eight pounder, right? I found out who makes these swim baits, too. Chad Fleer painted this. Uh, swim bait garage. He's got a Instagram. He missed me on Instagram, so you can go check his Instagram page out. But uh, he makes them. Chad Fleer painted it for me. Uh, Council Bluff cranks. Council Bluff crankbaits. Uh, yeah, you can go check him out. Both of them. Awesome bait. Awesome paint job. So if you're looking for a bait, you go to Swim Bait Garage. If you're looking for some paint. Go do Council Bluff crankbaits. And this bait doesn't stay perfect the whole time either. It'll, sometimes it'll flip up and kind of do a little crazy acrobat. And I think that actually is helping me. Because it really looks like an injured bait fish or something. Like a bait fish is dying. You can also do 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 do. Kind of, kind of, kind of pump that reel and it gets it swimming really fast. I had that kind of trigger some fish earlier too. I didn't catch anything on these first swing, these first points, see it's shallow out here. I didn't catch anything on these big shallow points coming out, it was more along like the main, the edge of the main lake almost. Not even so much a point, just these little cut-ins right here is where I was getting the action earlier midday. It's steep so it drops off quick, so there could be some fish literally right where I'm, right along the bank. getting bites guys <sighs> just got to freaking connect they're not eating it really good really wanted to throw around some more top water but it didn't really do anything for me this morning oh my god Look at that swirl. I had just sitting there, something freaking crushed it. I literally just had it sitting there, guys. My line goes thump. And I set the hook and there was nothing there. And then just a massive swirl happened right in front of me. Right over top of a big falling, falling down tree. How about that? Oh my God. Talk about acting fast. Whew. Just so you know, my knot didn't fail. It just broke off from hitting some rocks. Holy cow.
check your line when you're throwing a hundred and sixty dollar baits guys don't be lazy yeah i'm getting this bait down as deep as i can i'm hitting some of these big rocks i had to kind of bounce it off of them and knock it free off of them and that will put a fray in your line then when you go to cast this heavy of a bait you will launch it just like i did luckily it broke like just as i was starting to throw it because if i'd have threw it any further you guys seen i wouldn't have had time to go get it Oh my god. If you guys only knew what just freaking happened. I cast this thing and kind of twitched it on the surface. I sat down to get my paddle. And I just had a monster fish blow up on this thing. Alright guys, bright and early. It's uh looks a lot brighter on my camera actually than it does outside. Sun's just starting to come up, or not even up yet. It's like getting ready to come up, but get the kayak ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna send it down this bank that I've fished twice already, and I've lost giants both times. So hopefully this morning we get one of them hooked up and uh, into the into the boat this morning. But that is the plan. I'm gonna go do that, and go back, pick up camp, and then head out. So last chance this morning. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this trip. Uh, had a lot of bites, man. I just couldn't capitalize on them, I don't know why. Uh, missed a lot of good fish and we had a good time camping though. Uh, and I, I caught some first few fish on that big glide bait, so that's always good. But they just weren't there this morning. Had one good bite and the rest, I hit some rocks. I think I, I, think I only had one good bite, so. But that's going to do it for this trip, guys, and I appreciate you all for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.